Jean Stacy, 944 West 12th, Mr. Brown's Ward. This community has done and continues to do so much around homelessness. The service level, innovation, and volunteerism is well recognized. Even so, we need to respond to the growing need with new and additional resources and answers. We need to do so because so many remain unhoused and are beyond our current service capability. We need to do so because businesses, law enforcement, and neighborhood parks are all being affected. Our economic woes call for new resourcefulness and ingenuity to try something new, to reduce costs, respond to need, and put us in the best possible position to face the new economy in which we find ourselves. There is a need for a pragmatism that aids the homeless and protects the livability of our community. This is the kind of hard challenge a community like Eugene has the intellectual capacity to meet. I am here tonight to tell you about a project that was inspired by the city's task force on homelessness in which a group of task force members have joined together and are literally snowballing other volunteers, including those currently unhoused, to manifest the task force recommendations. We're currently forming a 501c3 that joins together the faith communities, human rights organizations, occupiers, unions, social service agencies, and a number of you on the council who have already brainstormed with us, help us uh, find our way through the bureaucracy of the city and help us begin meeting with the business community. Our first project is the first recommendation of the task force, a 24-7 place to be, and will be called Opportunity Village, Eugene. Opportunity Village will not be a depressing blemish, nor will it be dependent on handouts and tax dollars. To get started, we need land from the city and donations from the community. But by growing our own organic food, creating our own cottage industries, building and living in our own micro-housing, we will not only become self-managed and self-sufficient, but as a sustainable socio-eco community, we will provide an inspiring implementation of all seven of Envision Eugene's seven pillars. We will be a pride to any neighborhood by offering safe harbor to those currently living in, house, in the neighborhood. Modeling ourselves after best practices, we will be sustainable and self-managed. We look forward to meeting with Chief Kearns tomorrow and with City Manager Reese um, on the 20th. For, and we thank City Manager Reese for expediting our placement on the um, work session agenda. We look forward to working with 